breaking news from Las Vegas. The U.S. Army just filed a major lawsuit. The United States Army filed a trademark challenge against the Las Vegas hockey team over its use of a gold and black color scheme and the name Golden Knights. The notice takes issue with the Golden Knights logo, coloring scheme, and name, which the hockey team shares with the Army's parachute team with claims elite parachute team has owned the name and colors for decades. The official complaint charges the Las Vegas Golden Knights hockey team with trademark and copyright law violations due to the Army Golden Knights parachute team's use of the name and color scheme since 1969 with assertions that the Army owns common law rights in color scheme black plus gold slash yellow plus white. In its challenge filed with the U.S. Trademark Trial and Appeal Board, the Army says the NHL team has chosen and used a similar black plus gold slash yellow plus white color scheme on uniforms, marketing, advertisements and its hockey arena, mimicking the opposer's colors and further adding to the likelihood of confusion of the public. The Army cites as proof of the alleged theft statements, interviews, and even tweets by those associated with the team as having chosen the name and colors because they were linked to the armed forces. Three grounds of opposition are listed in the filing. Trademark Act Section 2D, Priority and Likelihood of Confusion. Trademark Act Sections 2 and 43C, Dilution by Blurring. Trademark Act Section 2A, False Suggestion of a Connection with Persons, Living or Dead, Institutions, Beliefs, or National Symbols, or Brings Them into Contempt, or Disrepute. The filing claims that the Army believes it will be damaged by the registration of the mark, that they have long used the mark, since at least 1969, in connection with its U.S. Army parachute team, as well as for recruiting efforts, and public relations for the U.S. military. The similar color scheme is also noted in the Notice of Opposition, claiming the Army owns common law rights to black plus gold slash yellow plus white. You can read the entire filing here. As part of their grounds of opposition, the Army references numerous quotes made to the media by Vegas Golden Knights owner Bill Foley as well as General Manager George McPhee including those published in the Washington Post following the unveiling of the Golden Knights uniforms in June of 2017. In that article McPhee suggests the color scheme was chosen because Foley is a West Point guy in reference to the United States Military Academy in West Point, New York. The WAPO article states in part dash. The uniform's black, gold and gray color scheme was inspired by West Point's color schemes. The Golden Knights majority owner, Bill Foley, is a West Point graduate, and he wanted black, gold and gray, the same colors Army's teams use, to be part of the color scheme. Bill Foley is a West Point guy, sort of using those colors, Golden Knights general manager George McPhee said. You know his history at West Point. You know about the classmates he had that he lost serving this country. So, those colors mean a lot to us, and will mean a lot to our players. And we're really proud of the logo. It's clean, it's symmetrical, it's kind of bold, and again it stands for something. Also cited as additional proof are 2016 comments made by the team's general manager, George McPhee, stating, we were going to be the Black Knights but there's already a Black Hawks in the league, so another name used at West Point is Golden Knights for the parachute team. The Vegas Golden Knights have until February 19, 2018, to respond to the notice of opposition or they may risk losing the trademark. The full schedule of deadlines is listed below- the Army has been unhappy with the hockey team's choice since it announced the new name and uniforms in November 2016. The team issued a strongly worded statement to dispute the Army's challenge- We strongly dispute the Army's allegations that confusion is likely between the Army Golden Knights parachute team and the Vegas Golden Knights Major League Hockey Team. Indeed, the two entities have been coexisting without any issues for over a year along with several other Golden Knights trademark owners, and we are not aware of a single complaint from anyone attending our games that they were expecting to see the parachute team and not a professional hockey game. That said, in light of the pending trademark opposition proceedings, we will have no further comment at this time and will address the Army's opposition in the relevant legal forums.
many are finding the Army's challenge to the hockey team's name and colors to be suspect, however. Trademark and copyright expert Jennifer Cocraft is a member of the intellectual property and media, sports and entertainment team for law firm Dickinson Wright and Craft explains why she believes the Army is overstepping dash. Sometimes, you need to step back and put aside what the cases and rules say, and ask yourself, would someone mistakenly buy a ticket to a Vegas Golden Knights hockey game, thinking that they are buying a ticket to an Army Golden Knights parachute event? I just don't see it, and I would be surprised if the tab, trademark Dryland Appeal Board, rules in the Army's favor. Further at issue is the fact that neither the Army nor any government entity has ever filed for any trademark or copyright protections for the parachute team's name and symbols but is instead relying on common law to make its case, case, 